Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Eden Destination Roulette where I try to win as many runs as possible with Eden while going to randomize destinations. Today for a streak of 10 I'm bringing you a run to blue baby with the friend ball and the immediate blind curse for the cracked orb which is an okay item you know on hit you uh, open all the doors in the room and it also reveals a random room on the map which can include the ultra secret room. That last one is not as useful as you might think. Because there's a very limited pool of items that can actually get you to the Ultra Secret Room, but it's still a nice item to have. I'm a big I'm a big fan of additional information in this game. I love every single item or every single consumable that gives me more information about my map. So having that early cracked orb, it's nice. It's going to it's going to give you one or the other bit of info. But this run is all about the Proptosis, a former favorite item of mine in the olden days where uh, a zero range Proptosis at short range still doubled your damage. It doesn't do that anymore. It gives you a big damage up now that falls off really fast. Like it always did. But it's not as large as it used to be, unfortunately. I still really like the Proptos. It makes you play in different ways because you gotta get close to things. It kind of makes you into a melee. But we found some really nice things with it. The main of which was the Abaddon, which we actually found at an unnaturally high amount of red hearts. Abaddon is an item that gives you a bunch of stat boosts and also converts all your red hearts into black hearts, which can be a really powerful effect, especially on a blue baby run, where you really profit from having those black hearts and giving you permanent Polaroid invincibility. So, very nice one, a very fortunate time to found the Abaddon, and probably the highest amount of red hearts that I've ever gotten from it, so that was really nice. Other than that, pretty nice tier build. I think it was really fun and I hope you do enjoy it. As for my question of the day, do you prefer to run the end game on red hearts or on soul hearts? Let me know in the comments which one you prefer and why. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh. I'm not I'm not too excited about most of the things that happened on this floor, not gonna lie. Yeah, Cracked Orb can open Mega Satan. We have science that. The Brim Wall Spider is a good Pokemon, right? There's a few good teammates to have, but yeah, anything that fires a Brimstone is generally pretty good. Fantastic item. Fantastic item. Dog food. Fantastic item. That's better than the cucumber thingy I have, which is actually Bob's bladder, but I will continue to tell myself it's a cucumber. Wait, what is that ultra secret room placement that goes against anything I know about the supposed spawn rules on that? I feel like it shouldn't be able to be there. What? Okay. Do 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 hi You can only get there via teleporting, you can only get there with the one item that allows you to make red rooms or like a few trinkets that allow you to make red rooms. 
Probably can't be anywhere else, so it's forced to the end of the treasure room, but why can't it be here? That's what I don't get. Here. Here. Actually, no, it can't be there. Here or here is, like, totally viable. And the secret room is here, so it's not like the secret room is, like, blocking that either. There's like, yeah, diagonally to the shop as well. There's plenty of spaces for the super ultra secret room. I really don't understand why it's there. Actually, it probably can't be there. I'm assuming it can't be accessible. Like it can't be so it's accessible through a, a boss challenge room similar through how it can't be accessible through the curse room but there's still no reason that it can't be there except maybe there's actually a blocked wall here i don't remember oops uh i meant to do that i wanted to go to the super secret room yep that was totally on purpose i'm such a good player Get him, boy! Oops. Oh, God. Plum is on fire. All right. Speedball fixes our move speed issue. Wow, that is hot garbage. What did I eat today? Pizza. I just I just made pizza from the store. Like a like a, a bought frozen pizza. I didn't eat it frozen though, just for the record. I usually cook for myself and my girlfriend, but she went out with a friend today for, uh, for, l not lunch, uh, breakfast. But they ate so late that she wasn't really hungry in the afternoon, and I didn't want to just make something for myself. I was too lazy for that, so I just had pizza. Too bad I can't catch you. You seem like a pretty good friend. Firing Ipecac bombs and everything, you know? Emperor card. Oh boy. Don't care about that. Actually, I care about that more than the stupid friend ball. Come here. Strength question mark and moon. F. Uh, no, <laughs> maybe not. Looks like RNG had a sense of humor. Sure did. Magic Mushroom isn't going to happen, props, face it. Not with that attitude. I'd be down for a sack room game. T 
to use that rainbow poop with. Come on. Come on. Hey, it's the meat cube. Look at that. Kind of concerning how you try and force the mushroom each day. What can I say? I just like the magic mushroom. I can't help it. This guy loves his super meats. No, 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 no. Whew. Look, there's a there's a time in a man's life where his meat becomes his family. Wow, I'm so bad at this game. Okay, no sack room, unfortunately. Do I go to the store? Is this caves one or two? Caves one, so that can't even be greed. I have, dude, I have seven keys. I mean, I have seven keys. There was literally nothing to lose going in there. Oh, look at that. The rainbow. I didn't destroy the rainbow poop, right? Did I just destroy the rainbow poop out of habit on the way back? No. Okay. Because that sounds like something I would do. Destroy the rainbow poop out of out of habit because I thought it was useless. Just wanted to make sure before I uh, spend all my health and then realize I can't get it back. Okay, but can we also talk about how Gimpy did not go off a single time there? Oh, hold up. I kind of want to buy the battery pack. It's going to take so long to use the unicorn stump like five or six times into that machine. So I probably don't have to. We're just going to get the blood bag right now and then we don't have to worry about that. Hey, Gimpy went off. Hey, there's the blood bag. Sir? 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 Alright. Flooded caves. And we're lightning fast, considering how slow we were at the start of this run. Magic mushroom, uh, magic mushroom. The, the the meat cube also makes a pretty nice pair with the unicorn stump, so that's nice. I don't think I want Doctor Fetus right now. With proptosis, there's so much more fun stuff that I could find, like Mom's pad. Oh, I mean that's kind of a fun one, but I think I like the unicorn stump better. I am not gonna touch that with a ten foot pole. Did it actually just flash me bone spurs there before it went to Isaac's tears? <laughs> That's so rude.
Okay, we're looking for greed here. I mean, I might be able to find the 9 cents for the starter deck here, but I also have an Emperor card, so I'm not sure how useful that actually is. Seven cent Pokemon cards, that's a heckin' deal. It's fake Pokemon cards though, they have like weird pictures and, and stuff written on it. Like the one I already have says IV the Emperor. I don't know that Pokemon. Okay, why didn't it speed up the music when I popped the unicorn stump? Now it did. Okay, hold up. Get ready for tech. We're gonna take the last guy here and lure it close by and then after we fire a tier, after I fire the tier that kills him, I'm gonna pop the unicorn stump, go into the curse room with the unicorn stump and because the guy dies after I pop my unicorn stump, I'm also gonna get my charge back. I messed it up. Actually, I can just use the meat cube. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do, but I, I noticed like mid-play that there was an easier way to do it. So I really just improved upon the original idea. I think it's an Ultra Beast. Well, those don't really look like Pokemon sometimes, so that, that makes sense. I think it's actually really interesting with their, their design choice, you know. Pokemon, like Ultra Beasts aren't supposed to be Pokemon per se, right? So they managed to make Pokemon that like work as Pokemon, but they also managed, they really nailed the design in that they don't really look like Pokemon. Huggin! Huggin! Dealing a lot less damage with his meat cube than I thought. All right, there's another devil deal. Let's get, I don't know, the, the pact. I mean, I'm not digging Damoclaws. And I kind of like the Unicorn Stump thing we've got going here right now, so... Got any tips on beating Greedier with the Lost? I'm getting frustrated. I mean, aside from the obvious not leave, my go-to answer to beating Lost and Tainted Lost since Repentance has been Ghost Pepper. Because you're guaranteed to get the A+, plus and you're going to be firing so many fires that it's just going to be obscene. But there's no, like, clear-cut strategy. You just got to hope you get good enough items. And then bring them to the end. But yeah, I mean, if you have, oops, if you have a lot of time, Nod Leaf is pretty much a, a big boy run winner, so. I don't want to take another hit here on purpose. At the hopes of a Gimpy proc and also to see where the super secret is, let's do it. Okay. Yeah, I would never have found that on my own, so I'm really glad I did this. Never lucky, baby rage. Hey, that's a good one. I'm I'm trying to prove a point here to the person that said I should just give up on the magic mush, but I feel like I'm proving their point instead of mine. That's not great. <laughs> really? Again? Okay.
Look at all those ultra secret rooms. I think I'm just gonna move on at this point. Sure, I could min max some more here, see if there's a battery in the store, maybe. But like, really, we're doing fine here and I don't want to waste even more time. Normally I wouldn't bomb for mush. I, I get so many people telling me it's not worth to bomb for the magic mushroom. And, and those same people, when I find it, are like surprised Pikachu face. Like, here's the thing. If you're really conservative with your bombs, you're you're going to be left with a lot of them by the end of the run. And bombs are a resource like any any other that you should be using to increase your chances of winning. And because you usually get such ex uh, excessive amounts of bombs on a run, you, you might as well try to... Uh, I mean, this run is obviously extreme because of the burnt penny, but... You usually get more than enough bombs for a run, so you might as well use them to try and find a magic mush or some other good stuff. Pots on basement as well, like a, a, an early quarter can set you up so hard to win the run. Greed! I'm gonna hug you to death. Remember in Flash Isaac where touching greed with like my little unicorn would actually drain your money? That was good stuff. Uh, I mean, I might as well, but not great. Huge growth. I mean, that's a great card, but I think I'd rather... The step's one, right? Ah, I mean, I might as well use that to kill the boss. Also pop shrooms if I have good pills. Same here, but I rarely find them because I rarely take pills. Touching greed drain money. Yeah, because greed, if he hits you, uh, he takes money from you, right? Like if, if he touches you and you take damage, he takes money from you. But in the old Flash game, it didn't actually differentiate between whether you were invincible or not. So you would just always lose money if you touched him. That was fixed in Rebirth. Since Rebirth, only if he damages you, he takes your money. When was the last time I played the OG Isaac? It's been, been a while. Uh, that's one, right? Alright, let's keep hitting devil deals where I take nothing. Man. I'm getting I'm getting to twelve red hearts here. Let's do it. Do I need that? I, I really don't think I do. Also, I didn't use the huge growth. I'm going to use it here. I played Flash Isaac the last time when I did the week of Isaac, which might have been in last week's autumn holidays. So that must have been pretty much a year ago. Ooh, sad onion. Time to gamble away my money. 25%. This machine is a scam, dude. I, I refuse to believe it's 25%. 
It's not 25% for me. Vengeful spirit. Hey, I finally found the item room. Wait. Angie fly. Do I use any mods, classic music, and the external item descriptions? That's it. even top hat larry no i didn't even know that was a mod august 6 2022 wait how do you know that which tracker oh i see going to use that five times for no reason hey actual 25 percent the odds are correct we have definitively proven it Dank Depths. Uh, I don't care about that. I don't even care about that card now. Yeah, I could just use the Unicorn Stump, but I have an Emperor card anyway that I don't want to get rid of, so... I hate this room. This feels so unnecessary. Interesting to see if we can establish a pattern of getting a devil deal every other floor. Not that I would much make much of a difference since our devil deals have been garbo so far anyway. All right, I'm gonna do it. Loki's horns. Was that worth it? I really don't know. Best crawl space. Eh. Oops. Whoopsie daisy. long that's gonna take fine can i just squeeze myself in here between him and the rock nice
No, it's okay, brother. I didn't want an item from you anyway. This is going to be the most expensive health up in the history of Isaac. Even with Golden Bomb, never a Sticky Nickel. No, I, I refuse to support Sticky Nickels around the world. I mean, that's a fun one. Especially when you get a fire poop. Sticky nickels aren't sticky by choice. Edmund made them. Yeah, that makes it even worse. I mean, I'd be down for some gumba with a crook penny, but I also think we're well past the point where there's really much to gumba. I could save them, but that would be acknowledging that what Edmund did was good. I'm sure he regularly drops by into this stream to hear me rant about how stupid sticky nickels are. Uh, blue baby run this way. Do I finally take a devil deal? Oh, brother. Bam! <laughs> nice. It's ogre? Yeah, I believe so. I love how Found Soul becomes invincible too. That's nice. Do, do, do. <laughs> what? Okay, I'll take it. I'm, I'm sure I can, in theory, still find a way to throw this run. Run, runs become a bit trivial with that Abadiddle, huh? Only good news is we have the Emperor card to skip the chest. Oh no. He's gonna get wrecked by the red poops, is he? Yeah. Pony doesn't even increase my speed and I don't think I care about the flight. We're just seeing this, this unicorn stump to the end. Uni oh, I'm just doing this. Unicorn Stump has been with us from the start. Unicorn Stump has been there for us, chat. It's been us and the Unicorn Stump. <laughs> Great. So this run had one phenomenal devil deal and three of the worst I've ever seen.
Oh, rip Fountal. You will be missed. What? Oh. Oh, how was that at an end? Cracked Orb immediately revealing a room that's pretty far away is really nice though, so that gives me a, a pretty good hunch where I'm supposed to go. In fact, I'm gonna make use of these bad boys to try and get through this ASAP. Oh. Gotta be this way, right? So the, the speedrun strats would be immediately to hit myself a bunch at the start of the, the chest floor, right? To see more parts of the map. It's actually an interesting item from a speedrunning perspective. Save your HP to reveal parts of your, your chest map. That's nifty. Over the entire run, you're actually uh, you're actually gonna make decisions on whether you want to convert uh, your health into information. What an interesting speedrunning item! I didn't think about it this way so far. That's a really cool addition to the game. Curse of the Unknown. Oh, it's just a bunch of garbage. Lord. I don't want to burn too much of my HP. And I feel like that room I released on the first hit I took actually gave me some pretty good information. The boss room is probably somewhere in that direction. That's that's reasonably far away. That's reasonably far away from the starting room for me to assume that this is where I'm supposed to go. Chill out. Oops. I'm going to be out of bombs by the end of this, am I? Okay, maybe not out of bombs, but I'm going to use a decent amount here. Them battle bombs. A rare sight these days, I feel like. But you can't sleep on them bombs. 100 damage per hit? That's Gucci. Oops. 
Sweet. Nice ending. GG.